Welcome back to my channel, Stefan Wolf is here with another sharpening video. Today, Tujiro Shirogami Nakiri, 165mm, simple wooden handle, plastic ferrule. It's not brand new out of the box, I used it for a couple of weeks just to get familiar with the type of knife, with the geometry and in my opinion it can be thinner behind the edge after I received, received the knife it has very slight bend to the right almost not visible but for a trained eye is something that can be found very easily. The grind is good enough. Keep in mind this knife is 45 to 50 US dollars and free shipping from Japan to Bulgaria. So it's pretty good deal. Pretty flat. Blade profile. Pronounced secondary bevel at the heel not so much in the middle of the blade and one side I think was the yes the right side pronounced secondary bevel from the show set or the right side if you're looking from above a couple of things will be modified one thing already was I filled the gaps between the blade tank and the handle with very simple construction adhesive good enough in my book that was available to me at this particular moment very sharp edges so I use my Nakiri in this grip so you can see this contact point is not very pleasant the edges will be sanded these edges too in front of you, a new stone, a kink stone, Matsunaga Industry Corporation, probably I butchered the name, 300 grit, Japanese industry standard, it's a brick, it's pretty big, hefty, and it's advertised with is advertised like non-soaking stone I'm not a uh, true believer of that the stone was soaked for about 5 minutes and you can see it holds water on the surface pretty well some bureau will be added somewhere in the video from the box how flat it is and dry from the factory does it absorb water? This is my first time sharpening. Of course, I touched up the edge with 6000 King upon arrival, but this is the first time I sharpen an Akiri knife. It's not a single bevel. I already have experience with my Deba knife. So from what I have seen in YouTube, sharpening such a wide bevel, it's not very difficult and I think it will be most comfortable to me to do the show side, the right side, 45 degrees, let's do the stone this way, put the stone this way, 45 degrees and then the back side like this. From what I have seen, the key feature here is constant pressure in the middle of the grind. So not here, not just here, just in the middle of the grind, taking the irregularities, the dips and the valleys of the grind. You can see the stone still holds water. So that's a good thing. I tried it on a couple of carbon steel 
Next it's advertised like carbon steel only. We will see that. It's lap up to 150 grit silicone carbide on glass. So the cutting surface is pristine, it's flat, it's fresh. Of course I will do the edge just to be safe. These stones are a little bit muddy. After that I will use 1200 King so gloves on the hands because I don't want to go to work with dirty hands. The video will not be full length, just to show you how the stone removes metal, what is the audio feedback, I will tell you about the tactile feedback. Let's start! It's very easy to work with such huge stone. You can see the difference between the flat and the bevel. It's not very big. Fingers above the bevel. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not applying exorbitant amounts of force. Already can see some swirly. Let's grab a piece of paper just to demonstrate the color. That's abrasive particles. Some say that this stone is not friable. In my opinion, it's friable enough. And of course, constant application of water will be needed. You can see the stone is drying a little bit. Just a little bit of spray. About the scratch pattern. I hope you can see. Can you see? One good idea, and I will stop the video. Not stop, but stop sharpening. Is to wrap the handle, the wooden handle of your knife with plastic. Just to prevent discoloration from the steel and abrasive particles because it's a soft wood, a magnolia wood, a whole wood. Just like that. Very simple solution. And of course, that can be trimmed. Let's continue. Of course, my technique is not refined. It's the first time I sharpen such type of knife, such white bevel. So with next couple of sharpening sessions, I hope my technique will improve. I won't remove a lot of metal at this particular moment, just want to flatten the dips and valleys in the grind.
you can see plenty of mud is lifted from the stone. And I'm trying not to wash away this mud. Trying to maximize the work of the abrasive particles, not to waste the stone. It's reasonably dry. It's on the bottom end of money you can spend. I think 28 euros for fine tools in Germany. Very quick and very reasonable shipping to Bulgaria for shipping to other European countries. I assume it will be the same thing, I don't know about shipping to the United States. They ship for sure, but at what rate, I am not sure. Being coarse stone and not very soft, it abrades steel and it releases abrasive particles but I cannot say it's a soft stone the tactile feedback it's not the best but the audio feedback I think you can hear can definitely tell you are you hitting the hole bevel or are you lifting just slightly and grinding on the edge making a convex after all I think some kind of slight convex will be created but I'm trying not to exaggerate the curve The blade is pretty stiff, so you can do long sweeps. I don't think it will change something. Plenty of mud. to wash it onto the stone and you can see in the background some child is crying for its mommy living in an apartment building with green spaces for the children you can see the scratch pattern I will do a couple of steals before going to the 1200 but you definitely can see the definition line between the hard core and the soft iron quadding it's the scratch pattern is uniform I have plenty of work to do with both sides of the bevel of the both bevels next segment of the video 1200 but before that a couple of steals from the results from this King 300 First official sharpening session, I'm pretty damn satisfied with my purchase, it works just fine, the speed is good, the release of abrasive particles is good, it's non soaking stone so if you're in a hurry, give it just 5 minutes and start working, good stone for a reasonable amount of money.
My work with the 300 grit Japanese industry standard King is finished. The bellows are almost uniform and you don't remove too much metal from them just to have something in the next couple of sharpening sessions to get more familiar with the stone with, with its properties and how it works but for now this thinning and evening the bells is good enough for me and for my kitchen in front of you 1200 king it's branded by Makita the manufacturer of electric power tools but it's the same thing as where was raised with DMT cores diamond plate just to expedite the work this stone its place in the sharpening progression is just to refine the scratch pattern And you can see it's thirsty. It was soaked for about 45 minutes, but still absorbs some water. Did I manage to cut my glove? No, I did not. And the questions about this stone can it produce a fold kasumi finish it's a fold because it's not a natural stone it's a man-made stone you can see it release abrasive particles very easy the slurry that was raised helps too no need to apply force, the stone is soft enough, variable enough. Working the corners. You can hear the audio feedback when I raised slightly the angle and I'm sweating like a pig it's about is the middle of September here in not here <laughs> everywhere but here in Bulgaria is above 30 degrees Celsius
moment, let's check the result. Of course, now I will spend you. the full sharpening on this stone no need to waste your time the video will be plenty long and you can see the definition line between the hard shirogami core and the soft iron cladding Of course, a little bit more work is needed to remove all the scratch pattern, all the deeper scratches from the 300. After spending about 10 minutes for the both sides, for the both bellows, I hope you can see what finish leaves 1200 Makita. Pretty nice in my opinion. A Fox Kasumi finish. Definition between the hard Shirogami core and the soft iron cladding. And you saw in the pictures included that very pronounced burr was raised. What's the job of this 6000 King? To refine further the scratch pattern. To polish the bevels if this is possible because it's only 6,000 and finishing the sharpening job basically I'm going to try to do a micro bevel this is on the softer side it's not as soft as many things but we will see Silky smooth. This stone does not need soaking. The constant application of water is needed. It dries up pretty fast. No need to apply force, to apply pressure.
sorry about that. My neighbor upstairs is working on something with a power machine, so power drill. Basically, the bevel is almost cleaned up. A little bit more work. The hard shirugami core is pretty polished for 6K stone. I'm not going to stop the video. Living in an apartment building, you need to accept the noises upstairs, downstairs, left and right. Keep in mind that I did not raise my angle, so all that bird that was raised on 1200 was removed with the swirl from this stone. The swirl grinds against the edge and it removes the bird. You can see when the stone dries up, it builds off, but immediately after watering cleans very easily using the corners of the stone trying to ensure even where it's pretty cheap 20 to 23 euros Again from fine tools in Germany. I believe the physical store is in Berlin. But don't quote me on that. I can tell you the bells are almost clean with the exception of the heel of the knife. Trying not to catch my glove. Building a swirly. Grinding down the burr and 
yes I managed to cut my glove so my thumb will be black and nasty it's pretty hard to wash off abrasive grains embedded into the skin but that's part of the hobby You can see how the swirly grinds against the edge apex, cleaning it from all the remaining burr. I'm lifting a little bit dangle of course. The edge will be slightly convex. But that's not a micro bevel. Trailing strokes. Edge leading. Trying not to dig into the stone. It's not as soft as many things, as I said. It's not the hardest stone in the world. At some point in the next sharpening sessions. I will do a micro bevel sharpening with an Arkansas stone, Arkansas stones. I am sweating heavily, very hot, very humid. This September, And we are done. Let me clean the surface and I will show you the result. And after spending around 45 minutes of thinning the bevels, refining 
the scratch pattern polishing the bevels and final sharpening let's check the result keep in mind that's only 6000 grit it could be better but for my kitchen this is plenty of sharp one thing that I did not mention is that this part of the blade is a bit lower of the edge is a bit lower than the other parts so it's slightly concave I will try to demonstrate on a cutting board I tried not to remove a lot of metal I hope you can see that the blade is not contacting the cutting board it contacts here and in the middle and here is gentle curve but here is higher I tried not to remove too much metal but I failed to repair the manufacturing blemish this of course will be managed in the next couple of sharpening sessions you can see in this part is a little bit this part is a little bit low the finish is a little bit wonky same for this part as I said 45 to 50 dollar knife I cannot expect perfect but it's good enough and it serves me well in the kitchen pretty long video thank you for watching have a nice day stay safe